another episode of the Lone Recruiter Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Clemenson, and if you're a recruiter, out on your own, or just lacking general advice or mentorship, you've come to the right place. Our episodes are designed to give you the motivation, the strategies, and the support you need to become the very best Lone Recruiter. So join us, grab a cup of coffee, and let's take your desk to another level. Now, did you know Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the most productive days of the work week? Now, this was a study done. <clears throat> it was interviewing a whole bunch of prof- thousands of professionals on what they thought were their most productive days and actually looking at the data of what productivity was happening on, throughout the week. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays were the most productive days of the week. Fridays, no surprise, uh, was the least productive day of the week. Now, this doesn't surprise me. It makes sense that Tuesday and Wednesday are the most productive days. I feel like Monday, there's the Monday-itis, there's coming back to work, it's getting back onto that treadmill. And Fridays, of course, people after lunch <clears throat> switch off and I think the, you know, their week is done. Now, for me, it's a great shame in productivity because you should maximise your week as much as you can. But I want to highlight an absolute opportunity here for anyone listening. If you're a recruiter, your competitive edge is beating your competition a lot of the time. And it's also beating your internal competition. Like we, we are in a bit of a game here where we want to be better than the next. We want to be better than the person next to me and we want to be better than our competition. Now, this can be considered healthy or toxic. I would like to say it's healthy. I like healthy competition. I have a lot of respect for my competition. I have a lot of respect for the people that work next to me. But I still want to beat them, right? And you're no different. I just, there's something about it, right? And the opportunity here, if you know that your competition is most productive on Tuesday and Wednesdays, well, guess what? I'm more productive on Mondays. Mondays, I'm going to make it my goal, and I do. I make it my goal to absolutely beat you on Monday. Because if I beat you on Monday, I'm already ahead of you come Tuesday, Wednesday. It is actually as simple as that. And like these these episodes, I write, I think I say it's as simple as that a lot because what we do is simple. We make shit hard for ourselves by doing dumb things. But if Monday is is considered Monday itis, oh, we're just warming up into the week. You are missing out. You could be you could be so much further ahead of your competition internally and externally if you nail your Mondays. And the first question you've got to ask yourself is, what stuffs up your Monday? What makes Monday a slow start for you? And I already know the answer for a lot of people. Had a big weekend, come down from a high, whether it's a natural high or an alcohol high or a drug high or just a, you know, a, you're tired because you've done so much over the weekend. There's so much, that weekend for me, rest is my number one priority on a weekend and in fun with family, right? But um, a good Monday isn't just about looking after yourself. It's actually, there's there's two key things I would do that I would recommend that you try that will really help sharpen up your Mondays. And and it's, it's probably stuff you've heard before, but your Monday starts on Friday afternoon and on Sunday evening. And let me explain. Friday afternoon, for me, is always tying off loose ends. You've had an entire week of things happen. You're going through your to-do list. You didn't get it all done. You can't because there's always stuff getting added to it. People are adding things to it. Stuff has happened. But what you want to do on a Friday afternoon, get in the habit of before you leave, do not leave on Friday until you have your to-do list for Monday done. Because then there's two things that happen. One... You go into the weekend, it's out of your head, and you feel really relaxed, which is pretty much the reason why I do it. I don't want this stuff floating around my head. I'm not going to be able to action anything on a Saturday or Sunday. I'm not doing work on a Saturday or Sunday. I, I make it my – I go out of my way not to do work on a Saturday or Sunday. But if it's not out of my head, then it's living rent-free in there, right? So on Friday afternoon before I leave for the end of the week, I will do my to-do list – methodically for Monday. I'll look at my calendar. I'll make sure I've got everything booked. I'll know exactly what's happening on a Monday. And now on Sunday afternoon or evening, when the weekend's over, kids are in bed, you're sitting on the couch, you're winding down just before, I will look at my to-do list. I will look at my calendar and I know what tomorrow looks like. And then I go to sleep. That takes 10 seconds, 20 seconds. It doesn't take long. So when you think, oh, I've got to work on a Sunday, shut up. You're not working on a Sunday. You're looking at Monday so you can maximize it. They're proven that if you if you look at, if you know what you're waking up to do the next day, you're going to jump straight into it and your brain kicks straight into gear. If you don't do that simple review of your calendar and your to-do list on a Sunday evening, 
it takes you that much longer to get going on a Monday. Now you're just with all the other plebs who are unproductive on a Monday and making Tuesday, Wednesday your most productive days. Trust me, get your to-do list done, Friday Arvo, review it Sunday night just before you go to bed, and you're going to kick some freaking ass on a Monday. And this episode's all about how do you get an edge, how do you beat your competition, and that's it. That's that's my recommendation for you today. So if you have anything uh, to add to this, I'd love to hear it. Shoot me a DM, write a comment wherever you're viewing this. We are on LinkedIn. We've obviously got the, the podcast on Spotify and Apple and wherever you listen to your uh, podcasting. And if you don't know, I'm filming this. A lot of people don't actually know we film this. So th- there is video version of this on YouTube and um, you can you can consume it there as well. So however you consume uh, podcasts or videos, we, we're hopefully on a platform for you. But wherever that is, write me a message, write me a comment. Hopefully we see it. Um, and if you've got any questions or you want to add to it, please do. This is an open, open forum. Um, that's all I have time for you today. As always, have an amazing day and may all your deals and productive Mondays come true.